Please go watch the last vlog to see why I'm in this current predicament, but at least I'm getting the word in. Happy New Year! We love you! Love the p.m. Um, happy New Year nonetheless. I am finally resurrected. It's <laughs> the second. <laughs> I was saying, Ghana, pati 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 pati. I can't, okay? I can't. We can't no more. So I took like a day, literally yesterday, to just sleep all day. My grandma, <clears throat> rude, my grandma came over. So I spent some time with her. And then my dad had a party at his house but I did not have it in me to go be social and meet new people so I stayed my sweet ass at home in my bed in Kato. Kato and ko okay? I slept, I caught up on my sleep, I'm very happy. I was supposed to meet people around 4.30 but it's again closer to 6. I think it's like 5.45. I'm waiting on my Uber. I'm gonna go meet some people. They're like having a pool party. Um, don't know if it's at a hotel or at someone's house. But nonetheless, there's a pool party that I'm gonna go to to not swim, but just to kick it. And then my cousin wants to have dinner. So I'm probably gonna leave early and go have dinner with my cousin. Honestly, I don't really know what we're gonna be doing today. So yeah, I'm excited. I haven't chatted with you guys like this in forever. I've been so busy and like on the go that I just like snap footage and like I'm on my way. So yeah, I miss talking to you guys. It's so good. Hey y'all, what's going on? <laughs> but yeah, I'll check in with you guys when we get in the Uber or when we're almost there and we'll see what we're gonna do. So my cousin sent me the name of the restaurant. It's called 8020 and oh my gosh, it's like a burger spot. I normally don't like burgers, but this place looks so good that I was like, yeah, we're going. So yeah, all I know is that we're gonna meet people and go eat with my cousins, so. I'll check in with you guys later. Bye.
I'm on my way to go get some food. I literally was leaving the house and I walk outside and I'm like, oh, it's pouring out and raining. So I think I had to grab an umbrella. And then my um, Uber was outside, so it wasn't that bad. Anyway, yeah, so we're on our way to go get some food. I'm starving and then we're gonna get some more work done. Basically what we did yesterday, but a different restaurant. And yeah, thankfully the rain stopped when we started driving away from the house. So I'm happy about that. I have this big umbrella that I have to carry around, which is kind of annoying, but yeah. So I didn't really like check in with you guys last night because I passed out after the restaurant. I ate so much that like it was it was definitely time. Um, so I came home, I took a nap, and then I had some like business calls to make over in the States. So I had to figure out like an international plan and all that stuff on my phone, which thankfully I did. So I got those out of the way, and then I went to bed. So there's not much going on. I feel like I've just been like partying all last week, so this week it's more of like recharging and getting work done. So I haven't really been chatting, but I'll do better. I don't know. We, I don't really know what to talk to you guys about because I've just been super <laughs> hungover. <laughs> I've been hungover and tired and mentally exhausted and socially exhausted. I've been socializing with so many people that when it comes to talking to you guys, I'm like, ooh, cha. You know, the family knows, but... Mm. Anyway, so I am going to check on some emails and get my life together and then we will chitty chitty chat. Maybe I am sweating. I'm sitting in this like cute little corner. I'm gonna put you guys up so you can see, but I'm sitting in this cute little corner because I thought I would catch, you know, the side wind and also the fan, but it's not really working in my favor. <laughs> so thankfully, I do have my fan and I have this like little one too. So. I'm going to try and just enjoy the afternoon a little bit before I start editing. Maybe I'll watch a show. I think I'll watch like Little Housewives of Beverly Hills or actually I'll watch Miami. I'll watch the Miami Girls and then eat some lunch and then edit and all that jazz. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. We're not doing, like I told you guys, we've been partying so we're not really doing much now. We're just editing stuff so you guys can see in definitely what we've been doing and then yeah. But I'm going to put my hair up because I feel like it's partly the reason why I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I have to put my lip oil on, but yeah, this place is so cute. I feel like I'm just tucked away in this little corner. Let me see. Let me put you guys somewhere. The table's a little slippery. I don't think you guys will stay. Ooh, Lord. Okay. I'm gonna pull down because I'm starting to get really, really hot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You guys, the smoothie. Okay. Mm. Literally so good. It's mango, pineapple, apple, and coconut water. But when I tell you, it's giving like straight mango from the, the fruit, like the seed that they ground it, like it's so good. Mm. No, like this is literally so good. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.
home. I am so full and very proud of myself. I was very productive today, so I'm happy. I'm getting ready to go take a shower and watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and edit a little bit more and then go to bed because I'm exhausted. I'm gonna try and go get my lashes filled because hello this one like needs help and this one's not too bad because I sleep primarily on this side but go get my lashes filled and then I'm gonna get my nails done for Thailand and Vietnam um, I might do a polish change I'm not sure I actually might do a polish change maybe I'll do like pink or something <clears throat> I'm not sure I'm kind of over the white toes yeah and that's about it i'm so proud of myself for ending this vlog with you guys we haven't ended we haven't started and ended a vlog together so i am very happy and i'm again very proud of myself for all the accomplishments we did today very productive yesterday and today so hopefully i can finish the my cousin's white wedding editing today and tomorrow morning and then i put everything together tomorrow complete everything Saturday and then post on Sunday and then we start again for Ghana week two week three and then we go to Asia and then we come back for week four and then we're done so yeah I can't believe the six weeks has gone by this is crazy let me go take a shower and then um oh let me show you guys the food my mom got me actually actually you guys don't really care it's it's just just food she got me some fried yams and I think it's chicken I'm honestly not sure what it is and yeah we had a good day I'm very content we had a good day today I really liked the little workstation it was like a we work but better and like not really a scam because we all know what happened to we work but yeah it was a great little workspace hangout um a little disappointed that they didn't have music but it makes sense because it's a workspace so you shouldn't have music because people are working but yeah, I'm glad I went. The food is really good. That mango smoothie, you guys. Oh, oh, that mango smoothie was to die for. Like, a part of me was like, you should take some home. And I did it. And I kind of regret it. But I was also so full. So it would have just been like thinned out and kind of gross probably. But yeah. Um, and then the pesto pasta was great. It satisfied my craving because I really really wanted pasta and if you know me you know i'm a pesto girl i'm usually like a seafood pesto pasta kind of girl but yeah the chicken satisfied and it's protein i need more protein anyway so yeah it was a good day today i'm very happy i just can't wait to go to sleep but that's like every day of my life i always can't wait to go to sleep so i'm gonna get unready take my makeup off go take a shower and then i'll see you guys in the morning good night Good afternoon you guys, it is, what's today? It's Friday, January 5th. I am going to get my prep done for my trip on Tuesday. I need to get my lashes filled, like, please, this is so embarrassing. Get my lashes filled, get my nails done. I might do a polish change, I'm not sure, on my toes. And then, I really don't want to get my hair washed. I might get my hair washed today. I want to get my hair washed on Sunday because I'm getting my hair braided on Monday. But we'll see. Today's Friday. It's only two days. It's not that big of a deal. And I'm only gone for like 10, 10 days, I think. 10 to 12 days. So, yeah. Um, I woke up pretty early. I used this app called Glovo to, or it's like Uber Eats to order some breakfast. So I got cocoa and bofro and then I edited some more in bed and then I started watching Bullet Train, which is really good. If you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. I haven't finished it. I have like 12 minutes left, but it's really good. And then, um, yeah, and then I decided to get up and go do my little maintenance day. So we are on our way. I'm so tired. I feel like I've been saying this this entire trip, but I'm exhausted. It hasn't been a bad day. So far, it's been a good day. I haven't really been doing much. I've been productive like yesterday, so we're carrying the energy. I brought my um, laptop and both my headphones so that I can edit and get things together. I'm pretty tired, so I may take a nap. So either I'll check in when 
before I get my lashes done, when I'm getting my lashes done, after I'm getting the lashes done, I don't know, but we'll see how this whole maintenance day goes. And then I'm gonna shoot a little TikTok, so if I'm not as, you know, um, I'm not as cognizant with you guys, it's because I'm filming short from content for you guys, so yeah, all right. I'm traveling from Africa to Asia, so let's get vacay ready. I'm headed to Caroline's Impressions in Adenta. If you guys are in Accra, Ghana, you must stop here and see Mavis. She's amazing. We started with the lash fill, and hello, she's slowly coming back. Next was a full set. I got a bit famished, so I got a meat pie and some fan ice. If you know, you know. It's an undefeated combo. We got the link together, picked a base, and got to shaping, and in typical Ghana fashion, the lights went off. <laughs> so in the meantime, we said goodbye to the white toes and I did a polish change that she slayed of course I mean just look at them 10 out of 10 45 minutes later the lights came back on Yay. and we got right back to business this was the inspo we're headed to Asia it's the year of the dragon so I thought it'd be cute to pay a little homage this is what they looked like midway through y'all better go see Mavis because this girly does it all okay this is what they looked like at the end I was obsessed but exhausted so we'll do my hair in the next mini vlog okay bye Oops. I mean, already That's what they said in the car. I would be like, uh. Hey y'all, there's a lot going on on my vanity, but I'm FaceTiming with. FaceTiming with Keandra and Nicole, who's been paused or absent with her face during this entire thing. But. <laughs> no, literally, Miss Famous. I'm over here working, girl. You are working, you're booking our flights for us, you're doing what you need to do for us. But yes, we leave for, what, we leave in like a week and a half? Yeah, it's like nine days. Yeah. I got no clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. What, that for Paris, Fashion Nova, your Kiki's clothes came in like five days, if that. And wait, that's the name? No, do order from like Fashion Nova and stuff. Her clothes came in like five days and like Revolve. Oh, if you order from Revolve, let me know so I can give you my little affiliate code. But Revolve ships in two days. You can order on Monday, comes on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I never shopped from them before. I checked them out. Girl, I love Revolve. That's like. I know if I get some shoes from Sheen, I ain't never getting them. I might as well be double clear. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. I'm crying. She's like, actually, I'm gonna just meet you in China. Don't even bother. Don't even. Don't even. Like, and they don't feel no way. I'm like, nah, we want big family. We don't even be like moved up like that. We just be like a vibe. Right? Yeah. All right, it's a vibe. All right, right. We got scammed and all. It's what happened. And he said exactly. <laughs> yeah. By an old white man at that. Not anyone we were expecting. An old white man. Yeah. No, <laughs> that story makes for good time. No, I Yo, thought he was that's the attention grabber for my blog. Let me tell you about how we got scammed in Paris. It's a fun story. It wraps up the trip. We're wrapped. Right, that's always the least for a good story. Mm hmm Oh man. Alright, so that's a beer? Yeah. You ain't drinking this I'm when you jealous. came? Babe. Tiffany O'Brien ain't gone to live in her best life. Maddie, that's gonna be us in Asia. Blue Bar is like the place to go. It's crazy. Blue Bar is always lit. Right? Everybody knows you know that. I feel like they be OT in that Blue Bar because everybody knows about it. No, for so real. I'm, in, I'm picking this. Me and Tiffany will see you in Vietnam. Are you doing that literally for a day? Um, Korea for a day, though? Like. I know. But I mean, you know, the fit of Korea, there's. There's a lot to do, but not really, if that makes sense. It depends on what you're going there for. I'm mad because I wanted to, if I knew I was going there and I had time to like get stuff made, Korea is the best, best place. Korea is the best place for two things. <clears throat> to get custom made stuff and skincare. They have like the world's best skincare ever. Mm. So I was like, damn, I want to I get like a facial there or something. Like, Girl, I would get lace. I would get everything done. What do you mean? I've seen TikToks of people going to Korea and getting a whole microdermabrasion, vampire facial, a whole everything for like a fraction of the cost that it, that is, it is in the U.S. I get yeah. everything done. Where is my other eyeshadow palette? 
Alright. My makeup looks good. I wish you guys could see it. Shamba na 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 eh eh waka waka eh eh. They're up to the um, right? Mm -hmm. It went up, but it says $60 on your thing. I know 100 or something. Yo, I cannot. Literally. You guys. 1550. What's the flight? What's the vibe we're going for? Oh, shit. What is going on? Hey, what's the vibe we're going for? Should I wear a dress? Look what my thing did to my face. What is this? Can you see it? My, this is so annoying. What? My setting spray got a bunch of like milky white substance all over my makeup. I'm really dusty Decembering into February. My goodness. Anyway, we're heading out for a night of fun. This is what I wore. Something cute and comfortable for the long night ahead. The skirt is from Revolve. It's a brand called For Love and Lemons. Link is in my bio. And the top is from Shein. I'm in East Lake on for the prees and it's time to get that liquor. So we're at Liquor Junction. One thing they had is liquor because baby, just look at this. I was so overwhelmed. Like, where is the tequila, please? Finally, I I found her and we secured the bag. I left a happy gal to get some chaser because one thing about me, I'm gonna need it, okay? Being a juice girly in Ghana is truly heaven because look at all this juice, like, whoa. I grabbed a tropical and pineapple and thankfully this kind gentleman helped me to the register to pay for it. I made it safely to the prees and it was time to start the night. Let's cheers to the night. Let's cheers to always. One thing about us Ghanaians, we love fireworks, but honestly, who doesn't? We then made our way to Purple Pub but of course I've never been here before but it was like an outdoor venue and the vibes and smells were immaculate. We made our way to the bar and I really need someone to write a dissertation on why eggs have us Ghanaians in such a chokehold because eggs at the bar top is crazy no? The shots arrived and so did the smell of kebab so y'all know we had to get some. My Shazam was working overtime because this place was truly such a vibe. I was surrounded by such good energy and the service was serving, the music was booming. A moment for the kebab platter because the meat is great but the sausage is elite. After Purple Pub, we made our way to Polo Beach Club and awaited our little golf cart. But y'all, why was the security treating my little bag like it was a weapon of mass destruction? Like if you want a little Dior lip oil and gloss review or try on, we can gladly sort some out vibes but this energy, yeah, not necessary. Um, Security is super spicy. After yet another security checkpoint, we found the crew and got the night going. The DJ this night was immaculate. I wish I remembered his name. So if anyone knows, can y'all please leave it down below in the comments because he set the vibes until sunrise. <laughs> We moved the section closer to the pool and truthfully things got a little too lit so this is all I got for y'all. Half the crew stayed, but for your girl, it was time to head home around 5.30 because we're now on 10 hours of patty patty patty, and your girl is exhausted. I didn't have to argue with any Uber drivers about my destination or using card. If you know, you know that daily struggle as a foreigner. By the grace of God, I made it home safely and just look how peaceful life is now. Like, ain't this crazy? Anyway, I was refreshed and in bed by 7. Until next time. I hope you guys like this week's video. Please let me know what you think in the comments and like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.